Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about anti-differentiation by substitution involving trigonometric functions. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the anti-differentiation of a composite function and how can we use the substitution in determining the antiderivatives of certain functions. In here, we will be discussing about anti-differentiation by substitution involving trigonometric functions. And with that, we need to review the antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. The antiderivative of sine x with respect to x is equal to negative cosine x plus c. The antiderivative of cosine x with respect to x is equal to sine x plus c. The antiderivative of second squared x with respect to x is equal to tangent x plus c. The antiderivative of cosecant squared x with respect to x is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. The antiderivative of secant x tangent x with respect to x is equal to secant x plus c. And the antiderivative of cosecant x cotangent x with respect to x is equal to negative cosecant x plus c. We will be using these theorems of antiderivatives of trigonometric functions as we solve for the antiderivatives of some functions using substitution method. Let us take this first example. Evaluate the antiderivative of cosine 4x plus 3 with respect to x. Let u be equal to 4x plus 3 and the derivative of u, which is du, is equal to 4dx since the derivative of 4x plus 3 is 4dx. Since we have here dx, we need to divide both sides by 4 to solve for dx. Thus, dx is equal to 1 fourth du. We will be substituting 1 fourth du to dx and we will be substituting u to 4x plus 3. Thus, our given will become the antiderivative of cosine u times 1 fourth du. From here, we can now apply the theorems of antidifferentiation. The antiderivative of cosine u times 1 fourth du is equal to 1 fourth times the antiderivative of cosine u du. And remember, according to theorem, the antiderivative of cosine u du is equal to sine u plus c. Thus, it will be equal to 1 fourth sine u plus c. Remember that u is equal to 4x plus 3. Therefore, our final answer as we substitute 4x plus 3 to our u is 1 fourth sine 4x plus 3 plus the constant c. Example number 2. Evaluate the antiderivative of sine x cosine x dx. If we will let u be equal to sine x, remember that the antiderivative of u, which is du, is equal to cosine x dx. Here, notice that we have cosine x dx. So we can substitute du on this expression. Therefore, by substitution, our given will be equal to the antiderivative of u du, wherein u is equal to sine x and du is equal to cosine x dx. From here, we can now apply the theorems of anti-differentiation. The antiderivative of u du is equal to u squared divided by 2 plus the constant c. And moreover, remember that our u is equal to sine x. Therefore, to express our final answer, we will have sine squared x divided by 2 plus c. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about application of indefinite integrals. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.